I'm trying to, I'm trying to just go to. There we go. Main menu. I accidentally just closed fucking Twitch instead of fucking Twitter. Fuck's sake. Where the fuck is the Twitch app? There's the Twitch app. Create a dashboard. Create a dashboard, not my channel. Create a dashboard. to Olive. The question is, how long until fucking Olive gets here? <laughs> how long until anyone gets here? Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. Welcome everyone to HR. By fucking far, in terms of the main game verse at least, my favourite game verse game. Excel Sword, Excel Sword's not game verse. Not quite. So since we don't include that, by far the best fucking game verse game. Not at all biased. Definitely not biased that I spent an entire year of my life throughout this game's lifespan. Playing it. Definitely not biased because this era of SEO games was the best era of SEO games we've ever had because we got this and then Excel Sword back to back. And we got Excel Sword during the time the DLC for this game was still coming out. Best fucking era of SEO games. 2016, 27, 2017 was fucking amazing. Oh, I've got a quest to hand. I've got a couple of quests to hand. Can I not just... No. I can't just hand him in there. Okay. Uh... Hello, apparently I had a quest to hand in to you. Errands. Report. Yes. Why do I have a load of quests to hand in to people? Errands. Report. There you go. Boss has a tick. You have a tick. The fuck is your name? Excuse me, what? Oh no, I thought you had a tick. Oh no, it's this... You had a tick. Coin had a tick. Why is your name Coin?
Could you even actually interact with Gore over here? Oh, you could enhance it. You could go to this blacksmith. Why ever would you? Why, why would you do this? Oh, and a different blacksmith are different things. Okay, yeah, and okay, there is a reason. But... But Liz is blacksmith. And Rain. I don't think I've got anything really worthwhile upgrading. It isn't already enhanced. I've got a couple tear fangs. Why do I got so many fucking tear fangs? I've got a Destiny's Defender. How do I evolve that? I need dark crystals. Of course, I, of course, I need fucking dark crystals. It's fucking. It's always fucking dark crystals. Of course, it is. Oh, but it doesn't really evolve into anything. It goes to Destiny from Destiny's Defender to another Destiny's Defender. Anyway, because Teleport Gate Plaza, the only time we've actually had this in an SAO game. Well, in a console SAO game. <laughs> also Black Iron Palace. Even though you can't access it in this game. Which is a shame. I realise I want the default Kiri hair, but I feel like the default Kiri hair is a bit too blue, but whatever. That's what we're going with. Uh, let's go to uh, the Great Plains of Restoria. First map of the game. Hey, Olive, there you are. Hello. Welcome. Ah, that's fair enough. Well, welcome to HR. In my opinion, the best game versus game. We we we've got we've got basically the 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 uh you know the two original characters for this game for our party with Premier and Tia. Uh <laughs> um, crap crap yeah 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 I'd say, I'd say so a bit like liquor has definitely improved upon the graphics of this game but I'd say so. But yeah, we, we've got we've got the original characters for this game with Premier and Tia, and uh, then we've got Kismo, because who doesn't love Kismo? The only time she's been in a console game. Don't worry about ridiculously fast. Yeah, Kismo, look. Also, another thing with this game that I like is. I think this is the only SEO game we've ever had where you have animations for sheathing and unsheathing and the weapons when sheathed actually say on you. Because... Oh no, did they stay on you in, in Last Recollection actually? They might have say... Uh, progressive first. Progr she was in Progressive first. This game is... Uh, the, the, the concept of this game of the game they're playing is Sword Art's Origin. This is Einground. This whole map. Want me to do that? Hello, welcome. But but yeah, all of this. Uh, I'm pretty good. You. 
Yeah, all of it. This this whole map. Bye. This whole map. Ignore the giant floating iron crowd for a moment. Uh, is the areas like is parts of iron crowd? Because obviously the whole story of iron crowd is that it's it was once a it was once a great kingdom and chunks of it essentially got taken away. <laughs> fuck, fuck you, Olive. <laughs> Uh, chunks of it were taken away and in, turned into Aincrad. Which is what we got with DLC. In fact... In fact, in fact, in fact, in fact... Where is it? I should be able to see it in the sky somewhere. Oh, hello, dragon. Oh, light element. Have I got anything to put a light element into? I'm gonna say no. It... It does not look like it. That's a shame. Discard the light element. Okay. Anyway, I was... Ah, nice! Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Twitter's probably actually my main platform that I use. Well, Twitch is obviously video and everything. Twitter is always promo and main thing I'm on. Where the fuck is it? Where is it? Okay, I've lost... I've lost Aincrad. You should be able to see Aincrad from the ground. I just can't remember where it is. Also, we are in, like... Uh, game demos. Uh, I will say the movement being as fast as it is, is in, I mean, if, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see my level and my rank, that kind of uh, helps it. It also very much helps the uh, attack speed. The attack speed should not be this fast by default, but it is. I do have modded gear. But most of it, I, I, I did everything without mods, but, well, actually no, fucking bullshit Paragon weapons. I can actually go back to not my normal gear though, but most of it's just the way this game is. Uh, Fornis is champ, sure, sure, sure. I mainly keep the modded gear on for the SP to be honest, because I like having a lot of SP. Having an awful lot of SP is very nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, that's my that, that's my that's my twelve. Same should be the same as. I'm 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 Elizabeth Simp everywhere, so uh fuck it. Fuck it, yeah. We we go we go to full normal armor. I say normal. It's all pretty much all legendary, but you know. But yeah, that still doesn't slow down the stuff. It it a lot of it's just the leveling. I forget what the max for that chain is, but whatever. Yeah, the um, it honestly depends on what we're doing. It really depends on what we do. <laughs> I will say, Olive, I am level 999 and we are in the level 1 area. 
This, especially considering the fact that I'm using the fucking anneal blade, might be a bit more of a challenge. Just a little bit. This is one of the hardest base game enemies. However, it's still only level 95, so... Hello, Rack. Okay, yeah, no, it, it was not much of a challenge. It didn't die in one hit. But it did die very quickly. <laughs> anyway, hello, hello, Rack. Welcome. However, normal enemies, we, 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 can, we can kill by just... I can, you can kind of just kill any of these enemies by just throwing a knife at them. Don't even need to actually hit them. But yeah, uh, this is HR. It's very fun. There's a lot of content. It is, let me have a quick look. Uh, what's my licorice hours? Am my fatal bullet? It is my most played SAO game with, uh... Okay, no, yeah, ignore that. I That playtime is a bit dip. I actually have over 800 hours on this game. 897 hours to be exact. You ignore the timer down there. I've I've spent more game more time on this game than that timer. That timer is, I believe, in part I've lost some lost some save stuff, and also in part, mod like save file stuff. You're pretty set spot on for the save for this save, yeah. Oh fuck! I mean, if we're on, I could have put us on Sacred Cross. Sacred Cross. This 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 game has a very cool system with its skill sets with its uh, skill tree. As you can see, there's certain skills here that are these are basically classes. Like the, the I mean the basic ones: tank, attacker, scout, and healer are all are there. Is there another one? Oh, and buffer. I know buffer's like more ma more main one. <laughs> yeah, you probably should. But no, this 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 is a game I very much like. And I mean, while we're we're obviously running with a Neil Blade at the moment, which is, I believe, like this is the the weapon that Kira uses throughout the entire main story of this game. However, you need Hollow Fragment save data to have it. It's also uh, pretty shit. However, if we go to um, if we go to my personal favorite combo of weapons to use in this game, Vox Unitas and Blue Rose Sword. Yeah. Yeah, it was, um, oh, oh, oh god. god. Josh, I am streaming. Why is that the first thing you say when I come to party? Because that's Because I'm scary. worried. Do you have stress issues? Yes! Stress for me? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so Josh, by the way, I started playing uh, Ghost of Sh uh, Sushima earlier. Good for you. Because the, uh, the new one got announced. Yeah, okay. It's not out for a while yet. It's not out for a while, but I wanted to start. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> nah, that's fine, Rack. <laughs> but no, actually, if I go back to 100 for, for a second, because um, so these weapons got added with um with DLC, and as you may notice, I have a release recollection sword skill. Can only be used when you have this sword equipped. I'm 
much like with this. That didn't go far enough. There's also a whole load of um five I got any other did I never get the other fucking I probably did and I gave it to someone else because I didn't like the design of it let's be honest if I switch myself to yes they are they are DLC we will get to the DLC characters well maybe Technically, tears DLC character actually. I wanted to. Ah, fuck. Uh, what I, what I wanted to do is the fact that there's unique sword skills for being in Sacred Cross. You got Holy Square on a uh, Divine Cross, Holy Square on a Garden, Etheric Armageddon. But I'd have to switch stuff over for them. I mean, I could switch over this one real quick. Nice cock. Now, these these are sort of skills that can only be used when you have a shield equipped. Board hand, sword, and shield, and are set under the divine cross or sacred cross uh, skill. How about if I now go back to this and let's. Why did I have Asylum Seek, Aside Strider? Asylum Strider was there. Mother's Rosaria was there. Fragrant Olive Sword was there. Blue Ro uh, Fragrant Olive Sword Mastery was there, and Blue Rose Sword Mastery was there. Right. Uh, not a surprise. I should probably actually go somewhere where there's maybe a bit of harder enemies. But I also kind of just wanted to walk around some of this area because... I mean, you can't... This isn't like fully a thing of you can just walk to absolutely everywhere in this game. But you, could. you can walk to all of these areas and then at the end you of can. each area you can then no, no, walk no, no, to the no. next one. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She can talk to them. She's never ever played all in her life. Mm-hmm. Sure, Josh. Sure. <laughs> sure. Almost 900 hours on this fucking game. Help me. Get off it, then. No, I'm, I'm doing a retrospective. Well, I say retrospective. I'm going over all the games over this week before Fractured Daydream comes out. Uh, let's go fuck up Ilfang. No, Rack. No. Oh, yeah, this is how Il Ilfang is in this game. That was Ilfang. I actually don't really know how I do any of this like remotely fairly without completely unequipping half of my gear. <laughs> it's not Chad Fang, no. Which is a shame. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a lot of sword skills in this game. There's a fair lot that you get normally. There's a fair few that you can get from uh, other stuff, the sacraments. Let's 
Uh, let's go. No, let's go to Ironcrowd. Let's go to the unfinished depths. Let's go fight the final boss of the game. Why not? Hope we're not doing it with just a Neil Blade. Not because it's hard, just because I actually want to go to Wield. We will go uh, Sacred Ruler and Blue Rose, though. Oh yeah, you technically had a whole invite thing in this, but it didn't really give you much. Uh, it technically gave you unique endings to the game, but it wasn't a hollow fragment where you got a whole CG at the end of the game that was unique, which was a shame. Oh yeah, We're, we've got Tia on our party as we fight Tia. Still, this this fight still probably isn't going to be a very good showcase of the combat because it's probably still just going to fucking die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Also, all of this, you can probably see with everyone's outfit. That's what I was on about yesterday with the um, with the special outfits for this game. It's it's the exact same for every character. Each one has an attacker, a, a, a attack, defense, support, in yeah, but support and buffer or healer and buffer outfit. And the only difference is their colors. I believe I have absolutely everyone here in the support outfit or the buffer outfit. I think it's the buffer outfit because it's the best looking one. I very much like this dress. I will say this is one of the only SEO games that you can read as a manga. It did get a manga adaptation. How faithful that manga adaptation is is a different fucking thing. Does it make Premier even like more of an interesting character than the kind of all right character she is here? Yes. A much better job than the wedding dresses for LR though, Rack, yeah. They at least put some effort in. Last recollections wedding dresses had no effort put into them. Oh yeah, I also should mention that um Silon uses a spear here. There's no bows in this game, so Sinnel has a spear. No, she has a bow. They actually just kept away from that completely. No, no, she has a bow. Just, mm -hmm. a just need to squint a little bit and you can see it. Also, as you can see, uh, Kismel and Argo do not get the outfits, and obviously nor do Klein and Nagil. She cannot throw her spear. Actually, I'm trying to remember her, the spear sword skills, maybe, but... Yes, he should have, but no. They did not give us a gill in a wedding dress. It's a crying shame, I know. But then again, this is the same company that was like, that didn't give us Renry in a in a mage dress. So. Honey, please shut up. But oh, we never got Renry in a mage dress. Just shut up. But we didn't. Just shut. Oh. No! It's a crime we didn't get Renry in a maid dress. I'm, I'm on the side of... Uh, uh, is he here? I want you to shut up. <laughs> ah, yes, Rack. Klein Agil. Agil's married. Agil has a wife. Agil has a wife. She's an insect. Ah, uh, yes, Polycule. 
<laughs> yes. Polly Agil. Does this game also not have auto? There's that. They're skipping through with that. There's no actual auto. That. Where is the auto fucking button for dialogue? Excuse me. Can I actually hit anything? I can just do that. That works. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, I forget that in recaps up they just show him with his actual default thing, even though in fucking cutscenes it's always the Anil Blade. Wait, what? No, Rack, you're not leaving. Not allowed to leave. You are stuck here with us. You can never leave. Hi Kaiba. Hi Kaiba. And yeah, this, this is the only uh, unique thing. It's literally just some dialogue at the end of the game between the character that you choose. That's it. Right, let's head to the DLC area. And uh, I should maybe switch up the party a little bit. For some of the, um, some of the DLC stuff they decided to do for this game. Because throughout the DLC, I mean, technically you did have to pay for bed scenes in this game, but that was also a load in the base game. But two of those are for new characters. Well, three of those are for characters that aren't in the base game. And some of them for the characters that were in the base game were just added. Uh, Actually, I mean, technically Rain and Seven were DLC, but they were free DLC. Anyway, uh, we're taking Alice, Yuzo, and Zero with us. Zero is a very interesting thing, because she's a... She's basically just, um... We could go to DDT. No. Zero is ba basically... A premiere that their personality was shaped by Twitter. Because that was a thing. They made basically a they made like an a, an AI chatbot thing on Twitter and had people interact with it and form their personality, and then they used that personality to make Zero, which is just. Just premiere here, just premiere, but with a great axe. Obviously, personality is a bit different, but design is just premiere with a great axe. Oh, I'm back to just using this now. Fucking. Let's see, will this, how easy will this boss fight be? Will it actually, will it actually be a challenge? Maybe if I go so, go in without other parties.
Oh shit. Actually, let's uh, go through all our stances. How the fuck do I actually hit the fucking left hand? There we go. Okay, yeah, no, we actually do take a while. Ah, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you. Uh. Maybe I should have some. I mean, no, I've got good gear on. I just don't remember how a lot of this game works. Alice, I don't remember what the switch button is. I could not switch with you, Alice, even if I wanted to, because I do not remember what the switch button is. I feel like I've demapped the switch button, actually. No, well, we could actually end this very quickly. With, I will mention, while I'm equipping, in my main hand, this is a completely non-modded weapon. Complete, th this isn't modded. This is just a reward you get from uh, beating the 1,000 floor dungeon. Because when you defeat the 1,000 floor dungeon, you get these special corrupted paragons which have forced death on them. Okay, they, they they delete anything. They hit anything once, and as long as you're not in multiplayer, or PvP, it, it, it just one-shots everything. Which is ridiculous. Fucking awesome, but ridiculous. Now we actually will go back to the, uh, to this. Oh, and that's dog from Josh's side. Now 
Pero de, de eso... <laughs> ah, yes, shoot the dog. <laughs> yeah, this, 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 I very much enjoyed this game. It was... I mean, obviously it was not my first SEO game. That was Hollow Fragment. I have managed to go in order on every single SEO game because the first one I played, I had no other option at the time. Lost Song wasn't out. It, it is. I really enjoy this game. There's definitely... It, it, it's, it's definitely quite long. It can drag a little bit. But I absolutely love this game. There's a reason I've spent almost 900 hours on this game. It is Aquaria's best game by far. Now let's go to the gallery so that we don't drag this out into, you know, another like two hour long stream like we did yesterday. Ah, fair enough. I think a, a lot of people's first SEO game was Fatal Bullet. What was your first actually again? HR. Oh, it was HR, yeah. Back during the time when I wasn't together with you. Ah, uh, yeah. Back when I used to, had to buy the games myself. Yeah. But yeah, um, this, this, however, did not have that many, um, CGs for the main story, but then had a lot of CGs for events. Probably was. I'm gonna go check my trophies. Oh yeah, they're further up. A lot of these are just very nice, uh, very nice CGs at Premiere. And then Teal. And this, this, this very nice scene. And then Kaiba as we saw it. And then we move on to the event stuff. For the most part, this game wasn't as bad as some of the previous ones with some of its stuff. I went through that very quick. I think all of these first lot are Arsenal related. The 3rd of November 2019 was my first trophy on Realization. Ah, uh, yeah, that was fair. And yeah, C CGs is always a very cute. A lot of a lot of Arsenal's stuff was like with her Yuki and Straya. I'm sh I was certain the realization was my first. And then Liz and Silica got a lot of CGs together, which is nice. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, you know, the mandatory silica gets dragged by, uh, grabbed by a plant monster CG. Ah, yes, this, this. I have the, the four trophies on Holo Re on, on Re Holo Fragment because I fucking hate that game. This. That game. It's awful. If I remember correctly, this because this is European, this is the censored version. There's quite a few images in this game where there's a, like the Japanese version is uncensored and then either the European or American version have some censored. With this, they gave silica, t they gave silica tights, which... Yours makes it better. <laughs> it, it, I mean, to be fair, when you look at how little Liz is wearing that, yeah, it was needed, but also at the same time, it's... It didn't. <laughs> oh yeah, Filler and Leaf got a lot together. Ah oh, yes, Phil Phileas sat on Kiri. Oh my god, Josh's dog, shut the fuck up! Oh, uh, I lied. Izzy, can you tell me when Josh's dog shut the stuff fuck up? No. I Fatal Bullet was actually my first one. I thought it was your first. Also, tell me when Josh's dog shuts, shuts yes, up. Yes, I so fucking yeah. heard you. 
Olive has also just yeah. said mute him. I have muted him, Olive. He is gone. Because that <laughs> kind of interrupts the stream. Ah, uh, yes, and then Philia realizing. Yeah, no, these, these two got quite a lot of cute CGs to get. Uh, pardon me, together. Oh, yeah, Argo oh, and Yui got stuff together. I can, can I just mention as well, I, I love Yui's outfit in this game as well. No, you can't mention that, shut up. Uh, but, you know, Argo, as always, being scared of dogs. Oh, yeah! Yui riding a big dog. Right, you Vashadam bitch. And then this adorable CG. I think it was the same dog. It's been a while since I did any of the, event of the events. This this CG is adorable. They 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 pick some good combos of characters for CGs. Oh yeah, um, they very loosely, which makes it even weirder the fact that Fatal Bullet was after this, but they kind of adapted Phantom Bullet in this game. As a matter of fact, Cunt is in this game. I probably can't say that on Twitch. Whatever. Fucking Spiegel is in this game. Asadasan, 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 that twat. Yeah, he's in this game as, like... Josh, shut the fuck up. Oh, Josh is, has his dog shut up. Josh is there, at least. But the dog hasn't shut up. Josh is there, at least. So that's a no. No, the dog has stopped. <laughs> oh, the dog has stopped, so like, okay. Yes, you can unmute him. Okay, good. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. It wasn't just no, me. No, 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 no. Olive did also say, please mute, because all we could hear was your dog. No, 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 no. You can mute me again. It's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> if your dog starts, I will. But yeah, they very loosely adapted Phantom Bullet in this game, which is even weirder than we then got fat. We then got Kirito mode of Fatal Bullet, which is also kind of adapted to Phantom Bullet, but you know. Oh, yes. Yeah, Asunon. Cute arson on. <laughs> Olive just put Josh, I love you, but the dog doesn't know how to third wheel. Hmm? Just, I just lick your balls off to do it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah, this, this this seems cute. There's a lot of cute CGs in this game. A, yeah. a, group, of, a group of the best girls. We got Liz, Asu, Sinon, Yuki. Eating donuts and having coffee. Ah, and then we've got and then we've got Arsenal and Yuki in, in bath towels. Thankfully, uh, none of these are anywhere near as bad as HF's stuff. So I think I can get away with showing all of this on the stream. HF is the one where I really question: Can I? The UECG and HF especially is one that I cannot. No. You can. Yes, it is. Just don't be a pussy. Oh yeah, Suganom. Sit on in between Letha's tits. No, Olive! An almost naked Yui is not the best CG. Uh, yes it is. I, the, I best, the best CG throughout the entirety of the, of the console games is an Excel sword. No, 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 no. And it's naked yeah. Asta and Liz the on top of each girls. other. No, 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 no. no so, the naked Excel, Excel girl's naked good, Excel but Liz and Asta one's, one's better. Also helps the fact that Liz and Asta no, are I legal. Shut up. So the Excel girls. No, they're not. No, they're not. Ooh, what's this? Oh, yeah, when they went, when they, these three and Kiri went after the legendary sword. Oh for fuck's sake! Oh yeah, we got a we got a throwback to Aria. They, 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 I mean, actually, it's technically it's the second time this game has done it because they in HF there was Asu with a cream bun with Kiri and Yui kissing her. Oh 
cream bun. I want a cream bun. Now we've just got Arsenal again, just eating a cream bun. I think these now are just all of their individual ones. Yeah. Come yeah. On, you know, once again, what? silica Josh! with animals. What? Josh! What? What the fuck, dude? I'll say what I want. I I was brought on rights and freedom. Josh. They, they, there's, the game verse yeah, loves silica I'll with play animals. Space reads, okay? Oh, I love animal bestiality too. No! Wait, what? <laughs> Are we not supposed to be talking about this stuff? Oh god, yes, Liz's is, is one. Liz's one is great. Yeah! Also, just this is ba this is just what Liz is wearing underneath, like the jacket yeah, and stuff she's got in her on on top of this. It's, n it's nice. Oh yeah, we got Sugahadu and Kendo. However, she doesn't r properly have a Kendo top. She just basically has bandages over her boobs. Sounds sounds like. Oh uh, yep, and that's uh. Oh, this one gets even worse. It's Sinon groping Kira. It, it, it's Kirito groping Sinon. Oh, that's good. You like. And then he covers her mouth. That's good. That's legal. This one's cute. That's not. It's no Kiriyasu and Yui just gardening. No, 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 More of the family. No, 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 no. Fuck the family. He needs to be raping it. Uh. Kiri use Kiri using Straya's lap as a I pillow. Don't know I don't know Straya... if you're annoying me here, guys. <laughs> While Straya uses Kiri's head as a pillow for her yeah entire Damn personality. You alien scum, get to pull it. That one's just cute. The flat filia one's just cute. Sorry, I'm talking about that with like the twisted straws. I'm playing Space Marines. It's such a good game. Ah, oh, nice. I don't know. Sinon, I don't re I entirely remember, to be honest. Probably it's Sinon, so I imagine she would. Ooh. Ah, oh, this one's just cute. Argo and Kiri. Love me some good Argo content. I love me some hentai. Ah, oh, the very cute Yuki with the bow in her hair. Nah, fuck that, mate. I like it when um, Yuki's uh, got a big fat penis instead of her ass. <laughs> and then we got Premier eating Dango. Oh, and then that's that's the girls covered in cream. <laughs> this one <laughs> definitely is olive. This this one's um, yeah, yeah. Oh, Le Leafa telling ghost stories and scaring Liz, Asu, and Philia. Yeah, we got the, we got this one over uh, Leafa, Silica, Premier, and Liz in swimsuits. I've just realised Silica has a snorkel. It's what Pien is on. Also, I love the fact that Liz is just undressing. Kismel. Here's Melody, I need you in, an SA, in, a, in a proper SAO game again. Please come back. We need you in Fractured Daydream, Kiss Mel. Oh, uh, speaking of Fractured Daydream, by the way, um, the entire trophy list is out there now. There's like very lit, there's like actually like no spoilers in the trophy list, which is nice. We need a more progressive. I mean, to be fair, I've still got progressive to read but we need more progressive movies or a, a show we need kids melon animation that's what i'm trying to say ah yeah um yeah i don't think i need to say anything more for this this if i remember correctly was censored in the states where kids was also in a towel But not for us Europeans. And then the same one with yeah, Arsenal. Arsenal was always in the towel. Because Arsenal's bitch. I mean, Kiri was also in the towel. Yeah, but no one cares about him. <laughs> yes. Oh, and then, and then we move on to the bed scenes. We've got Arsenal's. 
We've got silicas, which is quite cute. Best girls. This outfit looks so comfy. I love I love the the fuzzy purple like not really a jumper or a sweater. The overclothing it, it's adorable. Leafers accentuating um certain features. Did I call it purple? I said pink. Did I, did I, call, I did not mean to call it purple. I meant like jump. I said. I, did I call it purple? I meant fuzzy. I meant fuzzy. Whatever. Either way, it's cute. I I I I was trying to think of what exactly it's kind of called. It's like, is it a cardigan? Kind of. It's not. Well, I didn't mean purple. I mean, it's a bit purpley, but uh, yeah. Uh, Sinon's one. Because we already had a look at leafers. Sinon, you know, going to a book bed with a book. As you do. Strayers is definitely a cardigan. <laughs> I love how Strayers got a teddy bear. Philly's one's quite cute. Yuki's. A lot of these are pretty good. Oh, I forget this game for some reason has Yuki with her feet up. Well, yeah, because Yuki feet. And then the uh, the group photo from the end of the game. And then we move on to the first, f the, f the free DLC that we got, which was focused around Rain and Seven, because they were not in the base game. They got added later. What do you mean, Klein, Klein, Klein and the Gil have been in this game? Yeah, yeah, Klein and Gil don't appear in any other CGs, I'll give you that. Yeah, they just appear right at the end. <laughs> uh, also, as what, well, like, even though these two didn't appear until 3DLC, Seven was name dropped constantly throughout the game because the, because. It's her company that she's a part of, because, you know, she's a fucking, like, what, eight-year-old super genius? Um, who are running Sword Art Origin? Or it's because of her that they... And it basically, it's because of her that they were able to get into the beta test for Sword Art Origin in the first place. Ah, I get you, I get you. So, um... And then we've just got cute sisters. We're raining seven te together. Technically speaking, me fucking the dog weren't my fault. The dog landed on my dad. No. no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just here to have fun. I'm here to get you back. I mean fun. Open gate, boy. Don't, don't, don't even try to question Dragon, uh, Josh Dragon. It, it doesn't work. Hey, Dragon Man, that's because your face. Hooray! I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm like ten years. And um, then we got we got Premier's bed scene, which is cute. Oh, uh, I like the outfit. I, nice. Arsene, are you stupid idiot? You missed. Have you and Reigns is um, Reigns is Reigns is Pog. Reigns is great. Poggers. I just realised she's got a bow on the. She's either wearing those the wrong way round, or for some reason just has a bow above her ass. Well, then again, it also matches with the rest. So <coughs> sevens with the giant ragu rabbit plush. Oh, for God's sake, sevens! Wait, no, 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 no. Was this game okay? No. I was just for a second, is this game, what, was this game, what was, okay, no it wasn't, it's just, it's just seven that they did, w that they decided to do lolly feet for, good. Anyway, paid DLC one, hello Tia. Uh, the paid DLCs of this game were entirely about Tia, and they were fucking amazing. And it's also where we get the better Tia design. Oh, well, you don't see it there. That's just that's 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 just white head premiere again. But you know, we also then got these, which they introduced the whole uh, thing where essentially they 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 turned all the EX skills and put them into four classes. And if you maxed uh, got characters to higher levels in that class, you could um, use skills from other EX skills within the same class. And this was the first batch of them, which was, I believe, was Arsenal the, did Arsenal do healer? I think Arsenal's was for healer. I 
think Silica's was for Buffer. Liz's was for Tank, I'm pretty sure, which is great. I love, I love this. You can probably take a guess as to why. I don't, th I don't know if I said on this one is Silica. Silica and Pina is just cute as well, though. And then Premier's one, which I want to say Premier's was for Heat Attacker. I honestly can't remember what a lot of them were for, but yeah. And then we've got paid DLC 2, where Premier and Tier were having headaches linked to each other. And I think this was the introduction of Tier's proper design. Which I love. I love this design for Tier. And then this was the Leafer and Kiri one. Then fighting back to back. The Sinon one, which is just Sinon with a bow in her hair, which is cute. Like a headband bow. Strayus trying to sleep with Kiri, as she does. Oh god, mother. and the Philia one. The Philia one, where they found treasure. It was underwear. Oh, incest. Oh, that's treasure in my eyes. And the Yuki one. Yuki one's cute. My favourite character, underaged. <laughs> And we also, ah. we, we also, with this DLC, got Argo's bed scene. The only time, I think, Argo has ever had a bed scene. I don't think she got one in Last Recollection, did she? No, she got one in, she did get one in Fatal Bullet. She got one in Fatal Bullet. Of course she did. Fatal Bullet was actually alright with actually giving a lot of characters bed scenes. But Argo got a bed scene. The, uh, definitely the only time Kismal ever got a bed scene. Because, you know, Kismal never appeared in another fucking game. Cause they're fucking cowards. And it's great. It's a great bed scene. And then, uh, I don't know. Uh, paid DLC 3. I mentioned as well, by the way, that sword Tears using is Genesis's sword, and we will kind of see who. Genesis was. kind of. Premier came with us, and Tear went with Genesis, and while we taught. Premier a lot of good. Genesis taught Tier a lot of bad. He was also using virtual drugs to enhance himself and trying to sully the name of Black Swordsman. He was a good he was a good antagonist though. I liked him. No, he wasn't. And then we have again Pre Premier and Tier together. And here you go, Olive, with uh, Alice and Yujo. You've got Kiri and Alice with... I believe this This is technically would be uh, Amayori and... Takaguri? Well, not quite Takaguri. Takaguri. But this this was for maxing out uh, the stuff with... No, this wasn't for maxing out the stuff with Alice. This was Alice's story thing. And... Uh, and yeah, yeah, I'm also breaking. And then Yuji's one. Which, uh, yeah, they, they, they use Integsonite Yuzio. Also, this was, this was before Alicization anime started. This was when they, this was the, like, it was this and Memory Defrag was when they first put Alice and Yuzio into a game. And that was basically kind of seemed the thing of, they're testing the waters for their VAs. And Yuzio's design here is... You, you can see his hair's a bit off, his eye colour's a bit off. They hadn't quite finalised how he was going to look in the anime. But it's still nice to see him in an Integrate Knight armour this, like, this early on. And then we got a uh, Tears thing for maxing the thing with her. We got Argo's thing for maxing the thing with her. Yeah, no, I prefer the lighter hair as well. We got Alice's one <laughs> with a lot of ice cream. Honey, you want to know something I've just realised? And we got the gayest one. In uh, Last Recollection. What? I don't have a rapier. No. Oh. 
But we, we, we've, we've got Yuzio very directly helping Kiri with some sword training. Hmm. Very directly. Stood right behind him grabbing his arms. The gayest one. Then we got Tia's bed scene, which is great. Alice's bed scene, which is also great and quite cute. And Yuzio got a bed scene, which his trousers are slipping. Well, and I think that was it. Yes, yes, he inserted something in Kiri's back door. But that's all the CGs. Now, we go through the movies for this game. With pretty much the opening one. Again, I love the anime art start, the anime animation with like this sort of Abex coloration. Yes, it's still Anima. Anima did the game with us for years. Oh, random bot has come into chat. Ah, uh, it's okay, I banned them. Get back! So what we don't do? Uh, reach over here, apparently. Oh. NPC... ...dotta <laughs> yo. Hey, my name is Gamer Josh. And then we get the next movie, which takes a little bit into the place a bit into the story. See, a Neil Blade. Hey, Genesis. Hey, and Arsenal got Winflow X for A. That was also a uh, bonus. You know, they went very much into the progressive. Uh, I don't know if it would really be nostalgia at the time, because this was 2016, progressive books were still coming out. But they weren't very heavy into um, progressive themes, because obviously it's about the origin of Aincrad. So, you gave Kiri a Neil Blade in the cutscenes, you give Arsena a Windflare in the cutscenes. But then you also make mo both of them um, bonuses for if you had Hollow Fragment save data. Or maybe one of them was Hollow Fragment save data and one of them was Lost Song save data. I honestly can't remember. And then we get this fucking scene, which I love. Absolutely fucking love that. <laughs> the one, pretty much everyone, every, every SEO game has like a, well, 
it is a bit different. It, it's more updated. It, like, the style kind of updated more and more over time. I think, like, the HF one... It, H, HF one and Lost Song ones are quite similar. This one's a bit more... What's the word? It, 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 they've updated it a bit more here. And they kept updating it, obviously, up until... Because Licorice still had them. I think Last Recollection didn't have any. I oh, know I had it in the opening. I think that was about it, though, which is a shame. Fatal Bullet had it in a trailer and in Kirito mode cutscenes, and that was it. Oh, hey, Singy. Welcome. Oh, my God, Singy. Yeah, it's been a while. Welcome. We're, we're, we're having a, a recap on HR. Doing recaps every day on previous games in the lead up to FD. When's that out, actually? Uh, early access begins Tuesday. Ooh. Full game launches next Friday. Ah, don't pretty kick it out. Don't know if I'm getting it this year, to be honest. Premier. I don't know if you're getting it overall, because you didn't like it anyway. Hmm? You didn't like the game anyway. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm getting it this year. I don't think you that's why I said I don't think you're getting it at all. I also kind of had this game sort of adapting like plot points from Alicization with Premiere. With, you know, it's not directly, but and she's not. She's a, she is just a normal NPC AI. Although I say normal, she's like ah, that's that that, that that's fair. I mean, this to be fair, the stream is probably not going to be on for that much longer. Singing anyway. We're just going through the gallery. I've already been live what an hour and a quarter. But yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll be doing just these little streams every day this week until FD launches. But no, like, kind of adapting, roughly, the whole see all of the right eye kind of thing, you know. But with with this, it's with NPCs breaking their, um... Oh, with, with Premier at least kind of breaking, like, her pre-mandated quest. And becoming her, her own. And the same happening for Tyr, just otherwise. And uh, now we get this this this, this scene formation. The great separation.
さはもうさあ how much do you know about the lore of Aincrad Olive? Um, but Kirito is um. Kirito has man. absolutely nothing to do with the lore of Aincrad. Shut! Up. I, I'm telling you the lore. <laughs> nothing to so, do with the lore of Aincrad. The so background yeah, so, lore for Sao. The background stop. lore for Aincrad. Are all me. the NPCs. You fucking slut. <laughs> Thank you. Right. So. So the 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 basic law I kind I kind of mentioned it earlier, but Aincrad was create Aincrad originally, all all the places in Aincrad, all the floors in Aincrad, were all a part of one large kingdom essentially, or maybe multiple kingdoms probably. But they were they were mo mo like multiple kingdoms. It was all one big world, like like a normal world. And then the two, uh, two priestesses caused the great separation, yeah. which is what formed Aincrad as we know it. It they they took various chunks of land around and split them into the a hundred floors of Aincrad. No 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 no. She, what we just saw Tia doing there is her duty as one of the two priestesses to create Aincrad to cause the Great Separation. Because Sword Art Origin, the game that they are playing in Holy Realization, is, is that. It, it's it's Aincrad. It's the land before Aincrad. And Premier and Tia, they're kind of there as bugged NPCs. But they're essentially created by the cardinal system because the cardinal system's job, in this stopped... case, is to create Aincrad. I wish you stopped telling face, uh, false stories. I'm, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> so, Kirito is, is a Sigma male and he fucks all the women. That's the No! That's, it, really. that's, that's not... it, pretty much. No. That's it. And no. The no context is that true? No, the fault it is all true. The, the the only woman Kirito fucks is Arsena. However, if so we're talking who, about if we're talking about men, then we've got Yujio. <laughs> okay, so who, who are you gonna believe, me, the most trustworthy man in the world, or Olivia, a woman? Olivia. I rest my case. I don't think anyone can believe the words of a pedo. So, um, a that's biased, <laughs> and you know it, only by rumor. <laughs> But anyway, that so that that's that's basically the context to a, a lot of this, Olive. No, they no, no, no. they He's were wrong. they were He's bugged wrong. they were bugged NPCs that basically Cardinal had created. They all had they they had essentially a a fetch quest, which you took them to uh, not an escort quest in that they started in in town. They had a quest icon, and all they yeah. did was you take them to a random to, to a place in like the first field. They give you a single core, and then they walk back. Rinse and repeat. And that was their bugged quest. And then that led to Kirito and co. kind of taking in Premier, trying to divulge her from that. And Genesis taking Tia and divulging her from it in his own twisted way. Which led to the events that we've seen. And obviously the quest being bugged is because of the cardinal system trying to create Aincrad with these two as the the priestesses essentially this I don't think will play will it no that's the opening and that's the ending so yeah that won't play so that was the last cutscene that was <laughs> that was the last cutscene but yes that that that's uh the that was that that's the basic premise of hollow realization story no it's not then the DLCs go a lot more into like the DLCs all take place in the newly formed Aincrad with um prem like very much focused on Premier and Tier still but a lot more on Tier with eventually also and also as another thing I should mention uh NPCs that the, the NPCs in Sword Art Origin 
all essentially have memories and personalities of their own. When that NPC dies, they 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 they, they die. They they're gone. They are replaced by another NPC. Basically, a, essentially just a, a different person. They have different personality, different memories, and all of that. Like they'll take the same role. Like if it say if it's like a blacksmith that you take out into the field and it dies, that 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 blacksmith is dead. I think gameplay wise, I don't think they get replaced, but they are dead. And there's a whole thing in the final DLC event, essentially of a thing of being able to bring them back. Which is what leads to the infinite tra no is it like infinite transition dungeon or is that the XL sword one? No, it's not. It's the DDD. The no infinite transition dungeon is XL sword. It's the DDD. It's the deepest domain dungeon. Something like that. Which is a one thousand floor dungeon, but you only have to do the first hundred floors it for the story of chapter three. And I can't remember what it is you fight at the end. I feel like it's... I can't remember. You get a loose data and dark pulsar for doing it. <laughs> but that's, the, that's, the, that's the basic premise of... Um, I have not checked yesterday's VOD, no. I imagine oh. it would probably have been split into two VODs in the end. I do need to check them at some point because... With these being short, like fairly short, the way it, what do you mean good? But I do, I do need one to check them because with these being short, the way they are, I do actually kind of want to take these and upload these all. Anyway, uh, that's that's whole realization. That's the third SEO game. In my opinion, definitely in terms of game verse, the best SEO game. See, my favorite is, um, Fate of it? Fucking no. Not I, I, I definitely would recommend it. This is one, like, I can, even now, it's, it's a bit janky, but let's be honest, what SEO game isn't janky. Hollow Realization is like one SEO game that I can still, I, 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 I like one of the earlier ones. I will still, I'll still happily recommend it. See, no, jo Josh has play. played every SEO game, Olive. Josh has played mm -hmm. all of them. I don't know how much he's played of Hollow Fragment, but he's played all the SEO games. It's just the fact that we mentioned Lost Song with Josh the most because I chased him down as Black Lotus and poisoned him and put him to I sleep and drained his empty. I hated that game. <laughs> anyway, uh, speaking of Lost Song, tomorrow we move on to the successor to Lost Song. The much better than Lost Song in basically every way. Excel World versus where you have along me along. Yes, which Izzy will actually be joining us for because she has the game installed. We will be playing Excel World versus Soros Online Millennium Twilight. Worst one. <laughs> Fucking no. This worst one. Lost it's Song Hollow it took, Fragment. It took everything this bad or Lost Song and just uh, uh, made it worse. It massively improved it. Just because no. you couldn't find silica in a barrel. No, I'm not gonna yeah, fuck off. You, you, no, 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 no. shit, Josh. I'm sorry, those controls are so janky. No, they were they so really much better. Have you gone back to Lost Song? Yeah, you cannot. No, just I was trying to. The, That's tr fucking I'm, janky, mate. Yeah, go. I'm sorry, Excel Sword is so much better. You can actually fucking move when you're trying to fucking do a spell. You've got two proper different fucking sets. You don't have to unsheath your weapon every time you want to use magic. You can jump easy, you can get much quicker around with flight, whether that's in like simple, simple things like the dungeon because you have the whole jump button spam that you can just keep fucking dashing, or just in general the flight feels better. Oh. Oh, Is it perfect? So no. Oh, it's but pretty. it's great. Oh, it's so pretty. I think the animations are actually better. Like, they're not massively. I, the thing is with Excel Sword, and I'll get to this a lot more tomorrow when we play it, but 
it is honestly such a surprise that the game is as good as it was. The game launched in in Japan in like January or February of 2017 and over in the West for us around July 2017 while this game was still getting DLC. This game got like its first DLC came out I think in Japan its first DLC came out around the same time and then over here I think it was its last its second or last DLC came out around the same time as Excel Sword. Excel Sword then got like one big DLC as well later in 2017. But Excel Sword as a whole, it, it was made entirely to give the Excel world voice actors work. Because there was no new Excel world anime, there was no new Excel world movie, there was no new Excel world game. So they did a crossover between SAO and Excel world. They took the Lost Song engine, they took Lost Song as a whole... They improved upon the combat, they improved upon the sword skills, making them uh, cooldown based instead of SP based and actually having skill connect. They took the worlds from... Yeah, people got to get their wages. They, they, took the, they took the worlds, like the, the maps from Lost Song, doubled their height, which for a game with flight is fucking great, and kind of chucked in a load of excel world stuff and for a, a story that is entirely about time travel bullshit it's surprisingly really good it's got some moments of kind of just lulling about and just doing random fetch questy stuff but the main core story is a story about arsena kirito and yui and it's fantastic yeah i You'll, you'll, you'll see the game properly tomorrow when we get to it tomorrow it is it's Izzy's favourite SEO game I know that it's it's one I absolutely love I hate it it's very close to hollow realisation for me this era of SEO games 20, like, like I said at the beginning of the stream 20, late 2016 through 2017 was the peak of SEO games and then after that we got Fatal Bullet and then Licorice and Last Recollection. And we might be about to enter another peak. Who knows? Fractured Daydream from what we got to play is fucking fantastic. The other stuff we've Honey, seen from it looks very, really good. On. Yes, I know I I'm rambling on. I was about to say, you've been, you've been rambling on for I the last I love you, honey, minutes. but please shut the fuck up. I'm sorry, okay? I'm possibly autistic. Or have ADHD. You, oh, possibly? No. Possibly? <laughs> shut no. the fuck up! You are! Just yeah. shush. But but no, we we might be able to enter enter, enter another, another peak. That's what I'm trying to say. FD FD has a lot of promise. Delta We've got Chewbacca. variant showdown coming back at the end at the end of the Delta. year. <laughs> Olin really? just let the woman entertain her viewers. You come in, you <laughs> exactly. But we've got FD coming out with the fact that the first DLC for that is coming out within the first two weeks is ri ri ridiculous. We already have some some stuff that we know what's coming for FD. Hopefully FD continues, like, does off. well and lives on for quite a while because there's a lot. What with the DLC? The first DLC for FD is Australia DLC. It comes out two weeks after the game's official launch date. Uh, yes. Because F because FD is working off of a seasonal model, so season one officially starts when the game. So the early access that I'll be streaming for the first three days, I don't know how it's going to work because it's not a part of season one. Season one begins Friday the fourth, which when season one begins, the SEO shop opens. The battle pass will be there. So for the oh early my access, God, it's an egg. What premier? Yeah. What? Oh, I thought you were on about. Well, you said no. egg, and I was, I was talking. I, I thought for a second you were on about the home stream because premier is in an egg. No, it's a blue egg for Arsenal. Oh. Oh yeah, you're doing that. But yeah, Stray is coming out like two weeks after. And then, 
We don't know how long the season's gonna be. But whenever oh, fuck. after season one ends, we will then be getting season two, which in the middle of se I imagine in the middle of season two. Maybe at the beginning of season two and at the middle. It, I don't know. But that's when we'll be getting Peter and M in season two. And obviously if you've bought the deluxe edition, you get them you get them included. Otherwise you're gonna have to buy them separately. <laughs> we'll see more of that when we get to that game. But we could be entering an another another peak for the SEO games. Game Verse is officially over and done with. We've got Fractured Daydream coming out, which is the most hyped I have seen in the SEO community about a game. And just in general, like non SEO fans are so excited for the game as well. And we've got Variant Showdown coming back, which I don't care, give me UB back. I'd love you be back. I would absolutely adore to have you be back. Unleashed Blading is my favorite of the SEO mobile games. But it's nice that we're getting Variant Show and I'm finally coming back this winter. And hopefully... I think, me, yeah, me, me too should be. Yeah, I said at least oh, yeah, yeah. be in it in Scouts so Pay attention. Yeah. Yeah, season, season is probably about a month or two, I imagine. But I'm hoping the end of this year and then going forward, we we also have to think we've got a uh, we've got November seventh coming up this year, which hopefully, <laughs> yeah, pretty much, uh, we've got November seventh coming up this year, which hopefully there's no confirmation. But we could get some big series related reveals on November 7th. Because it's November 7th, 2024. The day SAO is cleared. If they were smart with their marketing, we'd get some cool announcements on that. We get, we get some cool announcements on that day. And I really hope we do. Whether it's like, you know, the next lot of DLCs for FD. Or what. Um, <laughs> good question. I don't know. Let's hope they announce. Let's let's hope they actually officially announce that movie that seems to have absolutely nothing that's ever happened about it in fucking ages. Let's hope they announce that a bit more there, because it's meant to be what another original story. It's. I really hope it's Asuka Empire themed. I lo I would love that, but obviously we don't know. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be the stream. I know, Jesus. <laughs> Thank God. I will be live 8 o'clock BST again tomorrow with Excel Sword. And then... Saturday and Sunday, technically, I could do longer streams. I haven't got work those days. I haven't got anything I'm doing those days. I could maybe do longer streams. I don't know. We'll see. Last, however, Monday's stream, last recollection... That will begin at 9 o'clock, because I do not get back from Bristol until about 8 o'clock. And Aww. that stream will be going on for 3 hours until Fractured Daydream launches. And we are then going straight into Fractured Daydream from Last Recollection. Oh, you motherfucker. I will say maybe if I'm, if I'm not doing, like, Fatal Bullet and, uh... My, yeah, because last recollection. You uh, said it was gonna be the end of the stream. Yes, I know. I'm I'm wrapping I'm wrapping up. It's it, it, it's Please been short. Wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's been short streams the last couple of days, oh. Dragon. That's what that's it what just, these it are. It didn't sound like it. That's that's what these are, Dragon. They are fairly short streams. <laughs> yeah, wrapping up thirty minutes. Welcome to autism. <laughs> not being able to shut up. Yeah. Hey, when I actually have a topic I don't, I'm passionate about, I will keep yapping. Well, I prefer if you then do. stop yapping. It's rare that I have. It's rare that I get to speak about topics I'm passionate about. I know. But can we stop making? I, I, I say she's passionate about with with it, with with Saturday and Sunday, I might stream Fatal Bullet and Licorice for a while on them, or. I might do like Genshin or something for a couple of hours beforehand and then we'll move into the retrospective thing for the for an hour. I have to go through this entire fucking dungeon again. Yes, uh, well not quite. 
there's a why teleport. Couldn't they, why couldn't they just... Oh, thank fuck. There, there, the there's fuck? a teleport that takes you to the boss. However, no, if you're with a new... I need to get back down. Because oh, I need to return the bond cradle together, you forehead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's, a, there's a teleport oh, that I takes you. You no, you you get to where uh, the is he? Fucking listen. Oh. You get oh. to where the um yeah, the room. Shut up, I'm there. Yeah. Fucking hell. But yeah, I'm I'm I'm. We'll, we'll see you Saturday and Sunday. We'll see you Saturday and Sunday. But Monday stream. Oh, oh thank the maker. Sun Mon Monday stream will be last recollection. It'll probably be about three hours where we get, you know, we get a proper look back, we get a proper wrap up to all the game verse, the games that we've gone through for the last week, and then midnight will hit three hours after the stream starts, and we will go into Fracture Daydream. But that's a couple of days away. We've still got four more games before that. So uh, thank you all for watching. I will see you with Excel Sword tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Good day.